All right, hey guys, it is King from Royal Slice Gaming, and today we're actually decided to come out with something new. We've actually come out with a um, bunch of challenges that we gave each other to do in different Pokemon games. So for this one, um, we decided that I would take a Dunsparce and try to see if I could beat the entire game of Pokemon Black with the Dunsparce. Um, so off the bat, the first few um, early battles were pretty easy. Um, the whole, the hardest part is just we start out with Rage, but as you can see there, I've replaced the Snivy with Dunsparce, so that way I could have the hardest run possible because Tepig evolves into a Fighting type, and we're part normal. So I just figured that would be the best one to go. But this first Bianca fight goes pretty smoothly. All we really do is just just keep raging. And the way Rage works is you have to use it consecutively, but each time you get hit after you use the Rage, the Rage increases so it does more damage. Um, so this is how I pretty much do 90% of the first part of the game until I get new moves. Um, yeah, so it gets scary sometimes because when you're locked in the Rage, you can't. it's, it's kind of like Rollout, but... Rage, you can switch a move or heal, but we have decided that uh, the rules are no healing in battle. Um, I can only use Dunsparce in the battle, but I'll have um, Pokemon for to use HMs with. Um, and yeah, the only thing I can use is held items, so like leftovers or a berry, and those come up uh, every once in a while. Um, and no like glitches or anything to where I could just like cut um, to the end of the game or anything like that. I'll play through the entire game. And so yeah, as you, I don't know if you'd be able to tell or not, but this is actually a voiceover over the um, original video. We just figured that this would be the easiest thing to do, us making notes and everything. So yeah, so the Tepig and the Oshawa go down pretty easily. And then, um, so after this, I kind of show the stats and kind of how we're looking with Nutsparse. So Dunsparce as a whole is a very like bulky Pokemon, so a lot more HP and more defense than it would be. So we have Serene Grace. Doesn't pop up all that much, but our stats look out. We have 100 base HP at level, one, uh, at level 100, it's 404. Um, and so generally our usual stats are fine. Um, he's not the weakest that we could have taken. His move pull in this game, um, not the greatest. There's a lot of stab moves, but nothing I'd really, really want to use. Um, I think I keep Ancient Power. Now TM wise, this, I use a lot. Return, I don't really use that much, but um, I replace it with Strength later. Um, and then later on, since it's Toxic, we do a set of Toxic, Protect, and uh, Strength, and some other runs. But yeah, this is just showing you how the wild battles are going to be, and just kind of doing this. And then the next biggest fight that we run into is the end fight. Um, it goes just about as well as anything. We're about the same level. We did a little bit of level grinding just to be as not really as high as possible but decently leveled um, as you can see I nicknamed the Dunsparce Link even though I forgot that it was a female so but it's still our brave little Dunsparce so the name still fits but yeah for this fight it's just mainly just like every other fight early on where we just rage you know let it build up and then it does a lot of damage um, not a crazy lot, but it's it's stab move, so it's already plus plus fifty percent, and then just with the additional um, build up, works out pretty well. Um, the next big fight, quote unquote, after this is the next Bianca fight, where she will have a um, little pup and an Oshawott. There, I think we learn a few new moves. I think we learn glare and yawn. By the time we get up there, um, or maybe just yawn, um, and so that's mainly my strategy later on with um, the harder fights. Is I'll use a status move like glare to paralyze or yawn to put him to sleep, but I actually ran out of everything and was down to only just a few rages. But we got it down to a struggle, and so I thought about how a struggle strategy would work, which is as you can see in the Sharon fight, I just use potions to heal. And struggle just does too much recoil damage to it be like an actual decent use. So we come back and do the fight over, and um, the refight goes pretty well because I have more um, moves 
instead of just struggling. But yeah, Yawn comes in pretty well. Um, it, mainly just there to put him to sleep for later because um, you need him to hit you with rage to build up. <coughs> Excuse me, I have something in my throat. But Glare is actually pretty good because if you, you need it to build up but you don't need it to be hit every turn. So that's where Glare comes in because you can just paralysis and hope that they get their, their speed is slowed anyway so we can head up. The next big fight is against Chili since we technically chose Snivy. So this was actually a very, very close call um, run. So I got to level 12, not the highest yet, but we're pretty much on par with the rest of his team. So I'll go for the Glare strategy. And then after the Glare shred, we um, cut to just raging, and I didn't go back to heal after doing the initial run to them, so I was low on rages. So he just popped some potions, but luckily, little Link here um, took enough damage to have enough rages to kill. Um, instead of raging like I should have, and probably would have one-shot the pants here, I got the Glare. Um, but it's okay, we, we got enough health, we're 48 health for level 12 Pokemon, so that's really not a crazy lot, but more than you would think. Um, yeah, so we just keep raging and having everything build up, and then we get the win here. Very, very clutch. It's like, yeah, I was left with 5 HP, and then we do this. So now, instead of looking back at the TM move pool for the next fight, because I didn't realize that... Um, Dunsparce can actually run Rock Smash, so for the next gym fight, it actually um, took me a whole lot longer. Uh, I had Rollout, I get it a little bit later, and I, I actually get it right there. Replace it with Defense Coral. Um, it does a lot of work in this game, so I'm not going to really talk about every fight, but the next end fight, like all the other rivals, because they're pretty much just the same, but the end fights are kind of interesting, because he brings new Pokemon to the table, so we just brought everything. I told it I told it Thief, just because it's a pretty decent move, and I don't have any held items right now. Later on I try to use a berry, and so I'll get rid of Thief for now. Um, luckily, they are not um, one-time use TMs anymore, because Thief comes back in later than the Elite Four. Um, yeah, end goes pretty smoothly. We just kind of build up a lot of rollouts and everything. And so the first battle with this lady goes terrible. Its takedown does a lot and rollout just keeps going. So we're about one level higher than her and she we just don't do enough damage. So I go, I grind to about level 20, 22 or 24. I can't remember exactly how much I go to. And then I realize I can teach it Rock Smash because I do a run where I, um, without having Rock Smash, and I'm like, oh yeah, I can teach him a fighting type move. So I go get the Rock Smash team from the Kung Fu dressed lady at the top up there and then go back. It takes me two more tries after I do that, but this is just to show just a little bit more of the grinding that we have to do and just so that it's kind of not hard. It just takes a while because I gotta wait on rollouts and thieves to build up. But yeah, so we I get I think I get to level twenty two. I'm not I can't quite I didn't make a note of the levels that I got to each each level grind because there were a lot of level grinds. Um, yeah, the, the biggest thing that I learned doing this is you just gotta stay a sizable level above the um, the other Pokemon, uh, just because you need a lot more health in order to take that away. Yeah, so I'll cut by talking when we go back to the gym, which I think we go back pretty soon. There's where I get Rock Smash. I'm like, oh yeah, I can teach you to it. So I get rid of Thief for Rock Smash. Um, I go back, it goes better than before, um, because Rock Smash is a super effective move, but I beat the Herdier pretty well, but the Watch Hog just Retaliate just hit too hard, um, but I had a run where Retaliate wouldn't kill me first turn, and we did it, so now the Berg, we gained a lot of levels in the forest, uh, we went from 20 to almost level 30, and so we roll out pretty much everything just because it's super effective. Um, the Leaf Annie near the end of this fight just does too much damage with Razor Leaf at the time. So we have to do it uh, second try we actually beat her just because we have more health than uh, usual. And because before I just kept taking a lot of damage. 
and I couldn't heal, so I'm stuck with 20 HP, and then the rollout zone, like, roll three, I uh, one-shot the Dweeble right here with, like, a rollout for times four, and then I was like, oh, great, I can do a lot to this with Annie, it outspeeds me, gets to kill, uh, but luckily, we just have just enough health left over, because the, the, nothing got poison set, like, nothing poison tailed me, the world peak didn't at all, it just kept hardening. I give it an orange berry, and then we just set up, roll out, falls asleep, and we just, just keep rolling out. And, uh, that's about that. The next fight is against N after the Ferris Will, and this took for a while because, again, I was dumb and didn't look at what my area was and what moves I could find. We actually find strength later in that same Mbasa city, which is the fourth gym leader city. And this fight takes me forever, just because I don't have strength. So I just try to rock smash everything. It goes pretty well, and then after that I decide, oh, I have to roll out stuff now. This, the Scraggy, I could rock smash, but it pops Swagger and Brick Break. Um, and Swagger, if you don't know, it'll confuse you, and then... Um, It'll increase your attack, but it confuses you, so if you don't hit the Kuna Confusion, do that. So, a few runs later, I level up and get level 33 and get in Bruce, and then go get Strength, so that's how our move set looks a little different. Bruce comes in, is probably the only other move besides Strength that stays throughout the entire game, just because Bruce is so good. Um, it's based on your actual health stat, so you gain more depending on a certain amount of health that you lose. So we keep gaining a lot. So the, here's the swagger. Just kept hitting us. And so we... I just, you know, just had to strength it. Luckily the strength, um, the attack boost stays. Even after you confused. So we have a plus 50% um, strength, which is already a good 80 power move, I think. So we just, we just one-shot everything. And so now for fight that's usually really hard because they just vault switch so I go into a yawn no a glare I'm sorry and paralyze just so I thought I could outspeed almost kill the first Emolga but this is pretty much the entire fight um, as they just go back and forth vault switching and so I just give up on statuses and just just go for strength this is the, that's the second fight I just had to do that because this fight they just they paralyze me and then the Substriker comes out and just flame charges. And then he sparks. Right. Yeah, even though I'm paralyzed, I don't think I'll lose this fight. Yeah. We just start strengthening everything. I, I give up on Glare and just go for Roost when I need to. And then a strength to just kill it. And that's pretty much what became the norm um, between Rage and Glare. It became Strength and Roost. Um, something funny happened in the next fight that I didn't even think I would. I figured I'd have to find some stupid strategy in order to be Clay just because his ground types and his Escadrille being a steel type. But I just actually just do the same strategy. One shot the Croconoc. Power Toe comes out. I think it takes two shots just because I confused myself. Um, yeah, and then here's the funny thing. I thought I was going to do no damage. Add all to this Escadrille because of the part steel type. I do almost half with one strength. Oh no, my bad. Actually, over half. And so I just two shot the Escadrille because I'm faster than it now. And it gets us the ground badge. So we're making pretty fun work. And we're actually a decent level for this part. So it, our health just is what keeps us alive just because we have just such high health. Next is the Skyla fight. And this fight goes on pretty well. Um, I just, you know, just the usual strategy. Doesn't really do anything new. I do learn um, Ancient Power over Rollout. Just because I tried to, since I have Serene Grace, I tried to get the stat or the status increase more often. That's the only time it ever happened because I replace it later on. Um, but yeah, and then we get Bulldoze from Clay, which is a really good ground type move. Um, because you can't get Earthquake until after 
you beat the Elite Four. So that's the only thing we have for now. Later on I'll replace it because of the Protect Toxic Strat, but then I have to go back to it in order to beat Glet, the Glenius or however you say his name, I can't remember. But yeah, the rest of these gym fights are pretty simple. Um, it's just a combination of strengthening and roosting when you need to heal, and just being a decent level. So I actually got the Lucky Egg from Charged Stone Cave later on, and it just helped me gaining levels just because I got to such just a high level. I did have to get to level 100 at the end, you'll see that later. Um, and even then, I'm, I was still wary on if I could beat um, the game or not. But you guys leave in your comments, or right now, how you guys think I did against the Elite Four, um, knowing I was at level 100. Uh, just tell me how you guys did. It helps for the YouTube algorithm to know, kind of like, you guys is commenting and stuff. But yeah, it turned out pretty well. We just kept getting confused and this cryogonal kept roar beaming us. So we lose the first one um, just because confusion. But the refight goes pretty just the same. I just go for strengths. You know, and less confusions. Um, there I here I go for trying to get that increased stats, but then I'm just like, oh well, it's never gonna happen. Um, even though I clicked it again, but in my brain I was like, okay, Chase, just, just, just strength. Strength's the only way to go. So yeah, I didn't think strength would be as good as it is. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just a great move overall. The next fight against the dragon gym leader, I was a little afraid of just because it's dragons and they resist everything. But we did surprisingly well against them, um, given the fact that we're a Dunsparce. Um, but yeah, our health right now is at 202, which is crazy to me. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it was a pretty fun run, not gonna lie. But now we get to Iris, and then from Iris, we pretty much just one and two shot everything um, with strength. I was afraid I wasn't going to, given I am almost 20 levels higher than them. But it's still... Oh, and I had to bulldoze this guy just because strength or not strength um what's it called rough skin i didn't want to take any random damage from it yeah but that it's it's move it used it a lot but then i just say screw it i'll take a little bit of damage hacksters takes a two shot from strength um and then now we're on to the elite four we have one more chair and fight that i show just because it's the last one in the game yeah but here are oh wait now i cut that out yeah, here we are at the Elite Four. This is uh, our stats. They're working actually pretty well. We got um, 342 health at level 100. Um, 207 attack, which is probably our best stat. And our defense is pretty high too. But the moves that we're running is Strength Protect, Roost, and Toxic, just because we tried to Toxic Stall a lot of the stuff. Later on, we get rid of Protect for um, Thief in order to beat the ghost lady. But yeah, this will be a quick run through of how I beat the Elite Four. Um, and then we cut to the final fight within. And then that's a fun one actually. And then we beat his dad and that's where we get, um, what do you call it? Bulldoze back in order to beat him. Cause we go up against some Coffer Griguses and they're just too hard. But yeah, the fighting type one I took on first, just because I knew he would be the hardest to fight. And even though we're level 100, we pretty much just strength a lot of his team. Um, and I learned something new about Sturdy. I didn't know if he healed from a Sturdy, it'll just reset it. So it took us a few times to kill the Sock. But we do, and we beat him. So we heal up for the next fight, which is against the Psychic Lady. And she goes relatively smoothly. She doesn't really have anything that's too scary to hit us. So we just, we just, you know, just strength. I thought about my next run. I thought about doing a Dunsparce run with just Rage. But I was just like, well, no, we already done Dunsparce. So we've got a few more ideas, which I'll talk about when we get to the credits. Um, so yeah, the Moonshower fight went really good because Moonshower is not really the craziest thing to um, 
hit with. But yeah, I was just checking to see if I had any like lower heal items. But this is another fight I was a little bit worried over because of the steel typing from your boy Grimsley and his um Basharp. I'm losing my brain. But yeah, we pretty much just strength everything. If I had bulldoze, um this fight would have been a whole lot easier just because it would have been probably like a one shot to kill him with bulldoze just because of the amount of oomph we had behind our attacks. Um, yeah, so the next fight we can't struggle it and we couldn't toxic protect through the next the, the ghost lady. So, oh, actually here we do lose just because I don't have enough um, strength so we have to redo this fight and we do it again and I I just kill it. Um, yeah, for the ghost girl, we just like get rid of protect and um, learn thief. Oh, I remember what I was doing. I was getting to struggle just so I know I could kill with struggle and then use a max elixir. That's what I was doing. I wasn't dying. Yeah. And then life hard just goes down to one struggle. Oh, well, two struggles. Struggle is weird in this game. It a weird amount of damage so I wouldn't really suggest using a struggle strategy in the newer games so don't really take a magic harbor one through with this um, yeah this went crazy this is the fight that we had when we had thief the the thing about the Cofferigus is it will has a chance to will wisp and if you get will wisps you're dead just because you don't have enough um, HP or attack in order to kill stuff but we do it we do this run where nothing like that happens we just he we toxic him and we just go on from there and then so we actually had a mandatory fight where it starts you out with the dragon so we had to switch the rush around so they get a free hit on us anyways but that's okay um, we just this is where I had to learn um, bulldoze back just because the next fight after this is too hard now, like it's impossible pretty much unless you kill the Kofogrigus like very very early. Luckily we had a run that you'll see where um, the Kofogrigus doesn't poison me. Um, oh wait no it does poison me it just doesn't burn me. That's what it is. It, his had both. Um, so yeah we uh, had to switch out back and so we had to get it to a run where he wouldn't give me a status move and luckily we had a run where that exact thing happened um he wouldn't use toxic for some reason he never he would never toxic in a run a little bit later and we just had just enough hp in order to kill it um so we decide what if we just waste moves with um Zekrom in order to get a free switch because of Toxic but then after that we just we beat it because we just had a run where he just never used Toxic um after this he just it's just a sweep um because of his team the rest of his team is not too bad it's just that initial Kofagrigus that's terrible just because we couldn't get rid of anything for Beef Run out, thinking about it back we could have um got rid of Toxic maybe because it didn't really do anything later but that's as you can see from this video it's actually possible to take a Dunsparce all the way through and beat the Elite Four so yeah I had a lot of fun recording this and Bryce had a lot of fun watching me fail as we recorded this so the next fight is actually going to be um, a challenge I gave to Bryce where it's can he beat Pokemon Platinum with only one um, Krigatoon. And it's our Cricket Challenge. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that one. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Oh, but wait. There's one more big fight that happens in black and white. Um, that um, fight. Cynthia is a little bit interesting because she's really, really hard. She's got a little bit different team than before. So the way we had to beat this is we went to go grab... We try a few times, but without Earthquake, but Earthquake's just a necessity because it's such a strong move. So we learn Thief back in order to deal with the Spirit Team. So our set right now, because I had to, I had to learn Earthquake, 
um, before doing this run. So I was like, oh well, we'll just we'll just go back. So we thought we had to keep Thief um, for the Spear Tomb. This was when we were deciding that we actually get rid of it for um, Earthquake, just because. Excuse me, that was the eye. Ooh, just because Earthquake just does it's a hundred base and a hundred um, accuracy. So this part, this Spear Tomb, just kept trying to burn us. So we had to get it to a. A, um, a run where we wouldn't get burned, and so this first run, that's why we, we had to reset. It's just because I got burned, and if you get burned in this fight, it's pretty much impossible. Just because all of Dunsparce's attacks are basically physical. So we get a run where we actually two shot the Spear Tomb with Earthquake, and then um, that goes actually really, really well. Um, this was just Bryce telling me just to set a Toxic into just Earthquake. So we two shot her with Earthquake. We kill the Lucario. And we roost up here. And then for this we actually have to Toxic Strength the model tick just because it's so bulky. And then what scared me the most was we found out the Braviary hits the hardest with Brave Bird. We can pretty much tank everything else. Brave Bird just hits too hard. Um, so we actually lose this fight, um, but the rest of it's actually pretty fine. The Garchomp goes down pretty easily to um, Earthquake and Strength, just because I was actually surprised. I thought he was going to be the scariest one, but when you talk to install a Garchomp, it actually goes down pretty pretty easily. The Electros is what kills us, so we get a crit. She gets a crit with. Um, Wild Charge, and then this fight goes pretty much to this is the fight right here. So we two shot the Spear Tomb, we survive an Aurora Sphere, kill the Lucario, we're gonna heal up now, refight the Malotic with Toxic and Strength, and then ghost out pretty well. The Braviary, like I said, is the hardest thing that we had, we had come up to because we had to, um, we were trying to get her to use all her four stores on it. Um, but we just got to where I was just like, screw it. I'm just gonna um, call out the roofs and just strength. Just because I knew she was gonna come and uh, use a four store. Okay, here's the guard chomp. Dragon Rush did a lot. I thought we had lost it there, but luckily we were able to just heal it with roost. And then uh, here's me and Bryce thinking about what move to go into. Uh, I suggest strength. Um, Oh yeah, we picked up the leftovers too. I forgot to mention that. Uh, we went, we went and grabbed those, just because it's a necessity in these fights, just because of how much you heal from leftovers. But yeah, so we just strength the Garchomp away, and uh, I figured she was gonna go for a full restore, so I toxic again, and then we just uh, pretty much the whole fight. Um, we live just enough with Roost. Um, in order to heal and then get past her, blah, her Garchomp and then we roost again and then just Toxic. Do we Toxic or do we Strength? Oh yeah, we Toxic and then since it has Levitate we can't Earthquake. So we beat her with 31 HP left. So yeah guys, that has been this video. So like, comment, subscribe at the bottom. Um. <laughs>